In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to make a pretty impressive beginning title section to your movie. I'm going to try to emulate to some degree what you can find in a major Hollywood production. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an audio file. This one happens to be 16 seconds long. And I've listened to it carefully. I know there is a break every four seconds. And so I'm going to use that to my advantage. I'll right click on it once it's in the track and choose copy and right click and choose, excuse me, paste, paste and insert. So now I have 32 seconds of music for our example. Then I'm going to take this video clip and drag it down to track number two. It's not exactly 32 seconds, but it's close enough for, for us to use here in this example. Then what I need to do below that is I need to create my credits for my major stars. So I'm going to take my title room and we'll do this one from scratch. I'll take my default title and drag it down to track three or four, wherever I'd like. Now that I have it here, there are a couple things I want to change about it. First of all, the length. Because I want that title to last no longer than four seconds, once I have it highlighted, I can click on duration and then I can click on the, the second item, which is the second one over and click on the down arrow until I get down to the four seconds. And there I click on OK. The other thing I want to do with the title immediately is begin to change the location. Now I know what this clip is looking like and where everything will go. So what I want to do is move it up a little bit about to here and then we're going to change um, the font and a few other features in the font area on my object tab I'm going to click a different kind of font I want to use my um, let's see let's use the Adobe Carson Pro Bold I'm going to leave it at 24 but I don't like white it's just too plain so I'm going to change it to um, two colors. If I drag my slider down, I go from uniform color to a two color gradient. I want to begin with something that's almost white, but not quite. So I click on that. I'll click in the blue area because I'm going to key off the blue over here and choose something that's just a little bit tinged with blue. Click on OK. And then I'll click my end color. And now we'll click in the blue area here try to find something that's a little vibrant here, a little bit like this, maybe something over here. That's close enough. And I'll click on OK. And there we have our title. Now I want to change the direction of the gradient to straight down. And that works pretty good. Just to make sure the letters don't disappear in the black without being too distinct, I'm going to add a shadow. The default is three. That's a lot too much for me. I'll drag it down to zero and then use my up arrow to do maybe a half, one half. And instead of black, we'll go with a white. Click on the white, click on OK. And I'm OK with a slight angle on that. So now I've adjusted that. The other thing I want to adjust um, is how it comes in. And that's my effect tab. I have a starting effect which defaults to nothing and the one I like to use I like my um, wipe uh, right I'll click on that one and we're going to change the timing of that too in a moment I'll drag up and I'll, uh, I'll compress my starting effect I'll go to ending effect and on this one we'll just click something pretty simple I'll click on fade and then it will fade out. So with those chosen, now I need the timing of these. Again, I'm remembering I've got four seconds and I know there's a change after two seconds. So if I hold my mouse over here, it tells me the kind of effect I have and there's none here. And then this is my closing effect. So let's go two seconds. You see the numbers change above uh, when it goes to seconds in the frames. There's two seconds in, we'll do one second out, which is three seconds in. And I'll click on OK. 
Now the only thing I need to do is change the actual identification of the title. Um, I'll go ahead and double click one more time, get back into the edit frame, and we'll put our first major star we've landed here. We'll do um, Okay, we have our first one. Now I have some others, five others I want to put in the sequence. So to do that, now that I want them all to appear in the same place in the same way. So what I simply do is I right click and I do copy and then I right click and I do paste and I will paste and insert. And I will do a paste again, paste and insert. And I will do this um, three more times and, and then go into each one and edit the actor's names. Be right back with you. Okay, now I have a different name in each of these titles. I'm going to copy it one more time. And I'll do a uh, copy. I can copy any one, right click and I'll do paste. And I'll paste and insert. This time I don't want it four seconds. I want it the same as the length of the music. So I'll drag it wider. In a perfect world, I, my, um, um, let's see if that matches. No, that's too far to the left here. There we go. In a perfect world, I would have more than enough video here, but I know it fades to black, so we're close enough. Then what I'm going to do in the last one is change that one uniquely. I'll double click on it. And we'll move it to the bottom of the screen because I've looked at my clip and I know what I want to do there. And we'll go ahead and give it a title. This will be the title of a movie. Let's see. Ya. And we will make it slightly larger. Uh, for dramatic effect. Now we're going to change the the how it comes in. We're not going to do a wipe right. I'll go to my effect room, starting effect. And then I want to use simply a scroll down. Although I don't want it to go off the screen. So instead, I'm going to switch to a slide down for my starting effect. Then I also want to close and choose the timing of this. Right now, it's going to be, um, let's do three seconds in. Now let's do four, because that'll match the music. There, four seconds in, and it can fade. I'll we'll have it fade pretty quickly there. And click on OK. So now I have my um, my key actors and then I have the title of the movie coming in. Let's play and see what happens. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, we could probably mess with the timings a little bit, but you get an idea about how you can make a very interesting intro with credits in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.